Hey, what's up everyone? Sorry for the small hiatus or break that we took from making YouTube videos. We actually have not taken a break from making them. We just took a break from uploading. Uh, we've been going straight on YouTube for about two years, almost every day for a year, and then every other day for another year. And we just wanted to take a little short break. But we have been working on a lot of big projects that we think are going to be huge for 2020. Um, we can't really share much of what we've been doing with you guys. I mean, we can share what we've been doing, but we can't share the big ideas until they're actually solid mass because right now they're basically just ideas and we don't want to get our hopes up and everyone else to think that we're doing something that we're not. But uh, here's another video, and this is kind of shows a little bit of where we're headed. Um, so enjoy. See you guys in the video, and then see you guys in the next one. We are going to be hopefully uploading as many videos as possible in December. So every day or every other day, I think we're going to do like do 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 videos all in a row daily for the first part of December, and then maybe trickle down a little to every other day. So hope you guys enjoy. You. I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. All right, what's up, everyone? Good morning. Here we are in the garage. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good day. I kind of just have the camera set on a shelf right now, like a little makeshift tripod-esque. So I just posted, so I was just thinking in my head, like, don't let anyone ever tell you that what you do isn't a job because eBay is so much work that it's more than a job. I just posted, I mean, eBay everything. I use, I spend a ton of time posting on Facebook too. Um, local sales have been slow, but they're still really good. I mean, we did like... I got like a hundred messages, but so I just posted this whole box on my eBay. Uh, this is all pretty much open box or brand new stuff, which is what I've been seeing selling really well. Maybe it's because of the Christmas time. People are just picking up uh, presents here and there and like something like this, you wouldn't really know if it came from the store or eBay or would you even care? And like this, I don't even know if it was ever open, but it just kind of got bent a little bit. But for someone who needs the cord, that doesn't make a difference. But yeah, we posted up these ones. And we've just been trying to work on our Ebays a little more. Because it's the one area that we do profit off of that we've been slacking on very much. I ha We have like eight packages, I think, in the car that were mostly sold off of either our Facebook page or YouTube. And then a few of them from Ebay. But I do, I will say that this setup that we have right here is not going to be officially permanent forever. And we do have um, some kind of, I would say, massive things in the works, in our minds mainly right now. But for the new year, 2020, I'm really excited about it. I can't really say anything further because there's no definites in life. And there's no reason to get my hopes too high if it doesn't work out but this is what we're working with this is what we have and this is how we're doing it right now basically for most of the stuff that i just posted it was an easy scan this one's not going to be though but this is a scale and all the most of the other items a lot of them you can scan in and it'll give you like Basically everything you need. So I guess this little scale looks pretty much fine, but that little battery thing fell off. And it comes with the batteries as well. So I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to even find with these. The Chinese brands aren't branded sometimes. It's just literally like scale. That's all it says. Balance from high accuracy. Regular silver. So when it scans in, it's always best because it brings up almost exactly what you're looking for. And let me just see. Like this thing, 
there was a lot of these. We sold a couple, like a bunch already, and we made our money back already, I think twice, probably what we put out for the those boxes of liquidations. And we still have like $1,000 worth of stuff. So I would say that was a huge success. But these are all open box. Some of the items are broken and missing and not working. So I started categorizing them under the table for eBay, or I mean for the flea market. But let me see. So there's the barcode. So it scans in. Everyone that does eBay mostly knows this already. It's not something new, but you can kind of find like the one that's closest to it. So like this picture looks kind of like what I would take, sell yours, open box. And then I would just take a picture of mine myself because my box looks a little different than theirs. And like my box is missing all the, the stuff on the front is ripped off. So like someone might just be turned off by that, but someone else might not care because it is basically brand new. I can't say it's brand new because it's not, but it's as close as new as you're gonna get for. So the average sale price of this is like $13.30, which isn't really that, that great, but if you start to realize how cheap that we bought this for probably less than a dollar because of how much we got at once. So if you can flip each item for 10, you're making 10 times your profit. So I'm just gonna post it. You know what I mean? Those pictures were good enough and I'm just gonna list the item. And that's it, it doesn't, these items it doesn't take long. You're not gonna make a ton of money, but it's also not, on each one you're not gonna make a ton of money, but it also doesn't take that long to post it. So like, you can just throw up some items. A lot, some of them are a little sketchy, like this one I'm probably gonna test, just cause it looks weird. And I might even put like used, Sometimes I put them under used and just put open box in the description so that people know like it's new, but it's it's not really new. But like this Kate Spade phone case, it has like a little, little scuff right here from like tape. But I mean, that's pretty cool. It was originally, where's the price? It was originally, I wanna say it said, yeah, $50. So like someone will see that price and then just be like, well, they can get it for 10. And if they like Kate Spade, then they're in there. But so we're gonna go and take a little ride on the Ocean City Boardwalk because I was at my doctor yesterday and my blood pressure is actually, was really high a few years ago. And I've been put on amlodipine, I think is the, the stuff. Um, so I've been taking that and I've been eating much less salt. I cut out alcohol completely out of my diet. Uh, so two years without alcohol, which makes it go up. And other things that I changed my life. Trying to be less stressed out, which I think for the most part I'm not stressed. But she's suggesting exercise. So we're gonna go skate on the boardwalk and try and get my heart rate up. So that's what we're doing. So we're gonna film it and we'll see you guys there. Peace.
we're about to be going on a little bit of a heavy mission. We're hooking up the dump trailer and heading to Blackwood, New Jersey. Pull this out of here. Heading to Blackwood, New Jersey to pick up cubicles for free off of Facebook um, Marketplace for a project that we have in the works. I'm not going to explain really anything about it, but it's a uh, something that we've been needing to do for a long time. So, cubicles, like actual office cubicles, and hopefully there's two desks there. It's at a, it's basically a storage facility where someone bought the unit and left the stuff and just paid the uh, deposit. And then the lady that runs the facility has put the ad up on Facebook for free for anyone who wants to come and get the stuff. So I've just been talking to her for the last two days, three days actually about getting it. All right, so I'm pulling out of the yard with uh, the trailer. And it's always kind of a cool, cool thing to see the trailer coming down off of that curb and everything. To this place and we're gonna get these cubicles so she just said come in and tell her big dog trailer in the lot are you ready to load these mm -hmm. this is gonna be insane hey are you Nicole I'm here for the yeah and I'll just wait for me here. I'm taking the lady out and I'll take you out, alright? Thank you. All right. I mean, she's hooking it off. That was the nicest transaction that ever happened. Like, she didn't even question it. I'm here for the, uh... She knew already. She knew. She didn't no, want you, uh... No one else ever came here to get free stuff. That's why they had to throw it out themselves. so far back she had to literally get in a car to drive back here to show us the cubic calais. Is this person going or not? Oh man, this is tight in here though. We have a lot of room on our side. Just watch that car. I hope this is open to the outside because I'm looking and seeing ones that go inside too. Uh -oh. Right? Uh -oh. It's right here, I guess. I'm just gonna wait here, so because I'm probably gonna pull where she is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. And what should we uh, just tell you when we're leaving or you're... Um, just we're... give me a heads up when we're leaving. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So cool. These two, these, those two are like really nice size. Do you see them? This one? Yeah. Like, damn, this is really packed in here. It is. Uh, are these super heavy? No, no, they're not heavy at all. They're not, not heavy, are they? No, feel this one. I feel like right we should here. just take them all and we'll scrap the ones we don't want. Like, we should take this whole load here to get to them. Do you know what I mean? I guess. 
Yeah, like literally just that easy. So like you can make them as big or as small as you want. And how do they... Just clips on. That's it. How, how do they stand up the... From the wall that goes across. Like this would be one wall, and then one wall here, and then one wall. You know what I'm saying? You have to just get to the back of one of them. I'm going to pull off. Okay. So this is like a giant grown-ups Lego. This is like a giant grown-ups Lego set. Cause like this is a corner. The Cubicales, dude. Yeah, but why would it end there? And then turn. Oh, because another one, these two clip onto here. So like this is the turn. And then that big one goes here. Oh wow, this is gnarly. So we need this one for sure. All right, so I was looking around inside of the unit, ooh, and I peeped something that's not a cubicale. And we didn't bring a light, unfortunately. Hold on, sorry guys. It might be too short, actually. What is it? I don't know what that yellow thing, can you guys see it? I mean, it's not anything like crazy exciting, but it looks really cool. Like it looks like if I was only like a foot taller. Hey, can you? All right. What's this consensus right now? Mm, I guess how many cubicles is that, you said? One and a half. We need four, I think. We don't want the ones that are short though, because like, what's the point? You just be able to see over it. I don't think they want those ones. Yeah, but these pieces are good, because you can build, say like that's one wall, and then you can add one of these to the end of it, so then it makes it two more feet, but not four more feet, to conserve space, but still have a little extra bump. So we need this one. I'm so out of breath. These two, and then those two, and this one, at least. Wow, it's gnarly. And then we can get to what you were talking about, which is what? You still don't know, right? It's like some kind of, to hold something, it's like a table. But it's cool, it's metal. There's like three of them in one. And it looks like it's about like this high. I don't know what it is. But it's all the way back there, so. Got a little bit of ways yeah, to go. Yeah, can the small ones in? Yeah. And then I'll do the. Wait, you want those ones? Yeah, we need them, I realized. Okay. Cause look, one of those and one of these is one wall. Oh, it connects. Yeah. All right, so I've only ever seen cubicles in person and in movies. I haven't really used them. I don't really know how they go together, but I'm assuming it's two of these and one of those that we first put in, and that makes the desk. It's locked. I can drill it out. So we're gonna bring at least four of these, I think. And then that's, I think that's it. We have all the cubicle pieces we can fit, like we, that are in there, except for the small ones. Sorry, we're kinda trying to rush and cover this and get it done before the lady closes the facility. So, it's a little hectic. Is it what you wanted it to be? Oh, it's cool. 
Let me get it out for us, right? I'll hand it to you. There's scores, we might have to come back here. No, we don't have to, but I should get this for sure, right? Yep, here, give me the camera. I need this, too. Is it heavy? No. I mean, no? yeah, but not like you would think. It's super cool, right? Oh, it's rusty. Oh, it's sick. It's rusty because it's meant for outside. Because mm -hmm. they threw anything that people left behind in here after they auctioned it off. I think we should just put this in the back of the truck. So this is what I saw. This is cool. Bottom of it's creepy, but the top's not rusty, so. It's cool. I mean, we pretty much cleared out a lot of it for him, though. What's back there? Pot. Filing cabinets, which are great. Maybe I'll message this lady again. Because they're so deep in here, I don't know. But I think I don't know, maybe I should take this and try and sell it. It's free. Yeah, taking this, and then that's it. And then the uh, two more of those desks that you're sitting on, and then we'll tie up and get out of here. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, you gotta give me light. There's a hole right here. Just be careful. Can you see? Okay, it's above it. Never mind. We'll push this in, and then the metal thing, and that's all that goes in there, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, just going there. I gotta check it out. Good. We're Did almost. You stuff? Yeah, it's worth it for sure. Sure. And how much time do you guys think you need? Five minutes. Cool. We're done. Yeah. Down. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Um, we're literally just gonna load this and one more of those tables, and that's it. And then. I'll... Okay. Cool. So okay, literally. Okay. Uh, a lot. So whatever. Yeah. It's awesome for us. We need the cubicle. So. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> I've been trying to get somebody to come get it forever. To be honest, how long is it gonna be here? Um, I'm waiting for a guy to clean it out. It could be a month. Could be whatever. I'm gonna message you. But well, I do want the filing cabinets if they're still here. Hey, listen, I told my boss you guys came and got most of it. He'll be happy to pay nobody to clean it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So if oh, you're definitely yeah. interested, I'll lock it up and just wait for you guys to come back whenever. Okay. Well, I'll just message you tomorrow. That's cool. I'm here. The only days yeah. I'm not here next week is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because of my other okay. job. But um, and my other partner's here. She'll let you in. Yeah, we're good. You can actually shut it. You sure? Yeah. You want these well, ones, I got to put these back there. Oh, yeah. But we got this out of it. This is cool. Oh, that, that's junk, ain't it? <laughs> the bottom of it is, but it's good for like outside. It doesn't ma matter if it's like rusty on there. What's up, man? <laughs> I'm glad I can help you. I don't know what else is back there because it's dark. Oh, it's gnarly back there. Yeah, we forgot our lights. We got that printer out from back there. I doubt it works, but who knows? I don't know. It was a doctor's office that had this unit. Yeah, I could tell so from could. the paperwork. It was a doctor's office, so yeah. it may not. Hey. I mean, we print a lot of stuff, so if it did, that would be cool. You're good. We're good to go. All right, it's got to get out if I leave, so. Cone lay. Does anyone ever try and live in these things? Hell yeah. Did they <laughs> pull it off? This guy did it for like six months, and look at how good he was. He had thick pallets and made a wall. He had a refrigerator, a full-size refrigerator. He had artificial turf in the front for the dog, and he had laminate floors. He had hand sanitizer on the wall and a hammock. So he was killing it. Like he was. Like 190 a month. <laughs> <laughs> he 
happened to the electric yet at all. I'm running my shed for two. Nah, this is nicer than a shed though. Yeah. I've seen videos online, that's why. Yeah, said. they're pretty cool. The guy had a nice setup how he had it. That's so amazed. crazy. Like a lot of people have inquired about this stuff and it's like, oh, it's too far to come. Or it's like, well, it's free. Yeah, it was like, a cup of coffee. Yeah. I mean, this is, it was like 40 something minutes away from our house, but I mean, it's for free. So right. now we don't have to buy them or build them ourselves. So it's perfect. Well, good luck with your company, whatever you guys are doing. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you too. I keep forgetting Thanksgiving's I coming know. up. It's crazy. Yeah, because the people mother drive remind me every day. <laughs> every day. You want this other one or no? The other ones, I don't have the clip for it, I guess. I mean, these... I got it. Is that good? Uh, yeah. Too much. No, that's good. And then pull it again. Now? Yeah. And like pull it up, too. Yeah, keep going. All the way. Where'd that one? That one was the wrong side. Ah. Because... Maybe I didn't use them. They've been here like two months. I think I had them on here for two months. That's crazy. I'm so, I mean, I guess a doctor's office can afford to just well, leave the cubicle. Should be nice and tight in there. Okay, we safely made it back home with this lights really dull, but all of the stuff that we went there to get, although the back of the the back of the storage unit had a bunch of filing cabinets in it. And so the lady had to leave and go to her other job, so I wasn't going to push it today. And we got what we went for anyway, because I didn't know about the filing cabinets. But probably in the future, maybe, we're going to go back for another load. Um, there's also about three more sets of these. I think there's about four cubicles, and that's what we wanted and needed from the beginning. And there's three more sets of these we need to get, I think, would be preferable. But it's about to rain tomorrow, so I'm going to tarp this whole thing if I can right now. I'm going to first unhook the trailer. And that's what I was running over, is this cinder block. Oh, man, I should have got that out of the way. But, yeah, basically... I didn't realize that she was telling me to come there at 4.30 because she thought I was just going to come and not take anything because I guess a couple people have kind of screwed her already on the post on the messenger and said they were going to come or showed up and never didn't take anything. So I guess talk is cheap on, on the messenger. We all know it is. And she didn't really expect us to take this much stuff. So, yeah, we're tarping it. That's what we're doing. We also scored, Sammy scored this metal thing. She was super excited about it the whole time uh, since she saw it. And I think it's really awesome. And then there's this printer that I have to look up the model number of. But who knows, these things go for a lot of money. It could just straight up work. And if not, even just for parts. So that was just a bonus. That could pay for just making the trip worth it itself. Those printers, that thing is like, a hundred pounds, literally. So heavy. All right, so this is how I'm gonna do this to, to keep it real secure. I'm gonna try and put a, a rope, a strap like that, and then bring it under the truck, trailer, I should say. Make sure it gets to the other side, though. And then put it in one of the grommets on the other side. Let's see how this is going to work. So that fed through nicely. Put it in the grommet here. 
and it's just gonna hoping to pull this whole thing tight tight on here this tarp I mean this is pretty basic I'm sure I'm like the one billionth person that's done this before but still it's a good way to do it and then just well if it tightens try to make it tighten it's all wrapped up in here though this is an older rope I'm trying to make it so it doesn't wrap that's cranking it shouldn't even have cranked it all right so that's pulled it down i don't want to rip it but i do want it to be tight so even if the wind comes hopefully that'll hold it and on this side as well so that's pretty tight i'm going to do two of those and then use all of these where are they all these bungees around the whole outside to hold it down all right so this is what we got it's as tight as i could really make it um, and it's pouring out now I knew it was going to rain, so we got it back here in the gist of time. Tarped it and everything. Two tarps it took. Woo! Alright, see you guys in the next one. Hello. Okay, so we have a gift from Lynn and Dennis Sommerfeld. Open it. Straight from the 316 source. <laughs> I thought that would be e this would be easier. I even gave myself a head start. Woo! Okay. Use that. Ooh, it feels like some flames. It's a nice packing bag. It is. Christmas shirts now. Dude, <laughs> no. Maui Christmas. Meowy Christmas. Ooh. And they have two cats. Marshmallow and what's the other one's name? The black and white. They have they have uh You just told me. They have I'm just don't even know what the cats are called now. <laughs> black and white cats. They have tuxedo cats. They have tuxies. Blackberry Sammy. This is a heavy part. And there's a letter in here. On your wedding day and every day, smile, dreams, step together into your beautiful future. Congratulations. Love, DJ and Lynn, aka 316 Source. Their YouTube channel is 316 <laughs> Source, too. They do storage units and stuff, too. Ooh. Ooh, Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks gift card. I love that. Tucker and Sammy, living in South Jersey. Selling. First comes coffee, then comes claims. Then comes the sales on Posh, eBay, and Marketplace. Hopefully you get where this little jingle comes from. Hey, you two lovebirds. Thank you for being super positive for all of us out there in the YouTube world to say. Just really enjoy how you both love each other, your kikis, your positivity, and the reselling life. Don't ever give up on one another. Don't ever give up on your dreams. Always stop and smell the roses. Take in the beauty of this world. Stay laser focused on what you both want. You both keep reaching for the stars and keep living the dream. Congrats on tying the knot. Enjoy a little coffee before claims on us and a couple of matching Christmas cat t-shirts. Nothing much, but wanted to send a little love to you all from us here in the middle, Kansas. God bless you both, DJ and Lynn Sommerfeld, a.k.a. 316 Source. And there's a picture of them. With their freaking the dream hats off. Thank you so much. And their YouTube is the same as Marshmallow and Duder. Is Duder. It I'm pretty sure. It's a daughter or Duder? D O O D. I Duder. think. Dude. Dude. They're so cute. I saw pictures. So, yeah, this Thank is. You. Let me see this. It's like 316 source. I guess that uh, has to do with the Bible verse. 
Okay. Thank you guys. These are literally, well, we don't have to go Christmas shopping for Christmas sweaters because we got our amazing Kiki sweaters, t-shirts that we're going to wear on Christmas though. Thank you guys. Thank and you so thank much. you so much for the support. We saw the videos of you guys getting your hats and it was really cool. Mm -hmm. So they do storage units. Go check it out if you guys want to. They did like a Summer medical Maru unit. Uh, medical unit lately, which I thought was pretty interesting. So go check it out. Butter here. This is by Airmail. What? Turner and Sammy and Kiki's wishing you all a magical Christmas. Best wishes 2020. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's from Kim. Love your good friend always, Kim and William's family. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. If you guys didn't know, Kim has been one of our biggest supporters from the beginning. And she literally goes on to our comment section and messages everyone our email address if they can't get in touch with us. And she is literally just the best. So we consider her, never met her in person, but we consider her a true friend. Yes, so thank you, Kim. Thank you. This was very for thoughtful. Always, for always supporting us. And then up north from Canada. Canada. I got to cut it this way, though, because... Hard. Mm -hmm. And it's a Kiki keychain. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And this guy is truly a testament to the term keep pushing and just staying positive. Uh, he had like some really, really rough times in his life and he survived some of the most trying things ever. So. Nine lives. Hi, Sammy. I hope you're doing well and business is good. I hope you enjoy the cats. I will give you my contact information in case we may be able to work together. Tim Milberry. Take care and stay sweet, Tim. So he makes these um, keychains key and also Not just cat ones. These are for personal defense keychains, these other ones that he makes. As you guys can see, they're like a Punisher face, but so basically... Is this one? Oh, is it this? is. I'm assuming. Like, oh, it's for your like, protection. Right? Yeah, in case you're in any situation. I, I was thinking that this one's for like more like truck drivers to have on their keychain, just in case. No, this is, this is good. I guess. Nah, you do this way. Like a... But, it's a key. A key chain. A key key chain. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Frederick Tim. I'm assuming Tim's your middle name. And if anyone's interested in the keychains, please, you can message his Instagram. Yeah. And he has all these different keychains that he makes. It's his company. So his story is uh, inspiring. He died five times, but he's still here. And he has a giant tattoo on his back that says this. It's really crazy because he just never stops pushing. So Gotta keep it keep going, pushing. dude. Keep it going. You want to do yours? Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, so since we've gotten uh, the record player and speakers and everything from our friend Nuge, the boy, uh, I had some Eminem records already, but I decided to start a little collection. So this is something I ordered for myself, which I don't, we don't really show items that aren't gifts, but I just thought this was cool. Um, I think it was like seven dollars only, and it's not like that great, but damn, this is not really cool. Good for them that they made it like this, though. They must sell records more than. I'm just gonna keep this box to do the same thing, but look, just lose it. <laughs> Doctor Dry, encore. So it's the Eminem Just Lose It single produced by Dr. Dre. So should we pop it in and check it out? Let's check it out. 
little sister claim. Can't even see her face. Sissy. What's up, big dog? What's up, Landis? Sounds a little. Ow, ow. Sorry, due to copyright, we can't really actually even play this. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna start collecting just all the Eminem records I can get my hands on. I don't listen to that so much anymore. But growing up, he was definitely my favorite rap artist. But I will say, we got hit with some crazy news today, and it doesn't have anything to do with the health of us or the health of our cat, cats, I was going to say kids, or anything bad really in, in the scheme of reality, but it has a lot to do with what we've invested a large portion of our lives to. And it's very, I should say, eye-opening news. And I'm not even going to say what it is because it doesn't really matter. But I will say that no matter what happens, if you stay positive, stay strong, and just if your life changes in an instant, you can still be successful. You don't have to rely on any one thing. You can just change with the motions and use that same energy that you put into one thing into another. So just keep your head up, everyone, for real.